I would like to welcome all the students who thankfully joined this lecture. For optimum use of time, I kindly request you to keep your comments and questions after the presentation. If you have urgent comments, please you can raise your hands. And we will announce the next topic after this presentation. Dentures, the life-threatening prosthesis. This is the uh, topic of our lecture to today. Dentures, the life-threatening prosthesis. This was an article published by me in 2005 in Master Journal of Surgery. And today we're going to present the cases uh, reported in this uh, paper, beside two other uh, cases. So, Eight edentulous patients, uh, six males and two females, aging 42 to 82 years, were admitted to the bronco esophagoscopy unit in Suleimania Teaching Hospital, Kurdistan, Iraq, over one year period, with ingestion or aspiration of dentures or food-related articles. As you know, edentulous uh, patients means patients uh, without teeth, patients who have lost some or uh, most of their teeth, and they have used dentures uh, as a treatment for uh, the tooth or teeth loss. Uh, four patients had ingested dentures. One patient had impaction of a denture in his larynx, which was a very interesting case, a denture inside the larynx. One patient had ingested a big bolus of meat, while another patient had ingested a bone. And the last patient claimed to have ingested a bone, but it's a phygoscopy was negative. All dentures in, this, uh, in these patients were partial, except one patient with a complete denture. Partial dentures were all removed uh, by esophagoscopy, while the patient with a complete denture in the upper esophagus required thoracotomy and esophagotomy for removal of the complete denture. And the outcome was excellent in all these patients with no mortality and no morbidity. So as you know, dentures are valuable prosthesis for people with missed teeth. And this article and this lecture doesn't aim to deny the many advantages of partial or complete dentures. However, the thoracic surgeon is frequently called to help an edentulous person with a life-threatening problem caused by a denture. Unfortunately, the dentist may not witness this event and doesn't know that the prosthesis given to his or her patient can kill the patient one day. In this study, eight edentulous patients with ingestion or aspiration of dentures or food-related articles are presented. The cases are discussed with a re with review of literature. The study aims to increase the awareness of dentists 
about the potentially fatal complications of dentures and possible methods of prevention. The first case was a 65 years old dentulous man, diabetic and hypertensive, presented one day after ingestion of a complete denture and the chief complaint was dysphagia, just X-ray, PA and lateral views revealed a small radio opaque wire pieces in the upper thoracic oesophagus. Rigid oesophagoscopy under GA was performed and there was a visible denture 20 centimeters from the incisor teeth. The denture was tightly impacted and it was impossible to be extracted by forceps. Therefore, a right fourth space thoracotomy was performed to remove the foreign body. And during thoracotomy, the denture was visible and palpable in the upper third of the oesophagus. <clears throat> and then it was extracted by a longitudinal esophagotomy. And that was the denture, a very interesting case. It's very difficult to imagine that this complete denture was ingested and impacted in the upper thoracic oesophagus. The oesophagotomy was closed by interrupted two or six sutures and the post-operative course was smooth. Oral diet was begun on the fifth post-operative day, but the patient, of course, never used this denture again. This is a video showing the operation done for this patient, right thoracotomy for extraction of full denture from the upper thoracic oesophagus in a man of 65. Is the opening in the oesophagus. The field was filled by saline after extraction of the denture, and then the oesophagotomy was closed by one layer of interrupted two or six sutures. And the patient post-operative course was smooth. Uh, Post-operatively, uh, that was the daily swallow five days after the repair. And as you can see, it was uh, normal in appearance. 
without evidence of leakage. Therefore, oral diet was started after five days. The second case was a partial denture impacted in the upper esophagus. A very old man, very elderly patient, 72 years old, a dentulous man, a known case of uncontrolled hypertension, presented with painful dysphagia after ingestion of his partial denture. The denture was invisible on a plane on the PA view X-ray of the neck. And it was also invisible on the lateral X-ray of the neck. Rigid osphigoscopy was performed and the denture was extracted. As you can see, it was very sharp with metallic wire. The denture was very sharp, very sharp and but the post-operative course was smooth. The third patient was a 42 years old edentulous man, presented with painful dysphagia, few hours after ingestion of a partial denture. The denture was visible on X-ray and it was extracted by rigid Specifigoscopy, partial denture consisting of three teeth. The fourth patient was also a very old man, 82 years old, edentulous man. The patient arrived complaining with total dysphagia three days after ingestion of a big bolus of meat and the perium swallow showed total occlusion of the mid thoracic oesophagus. Rigid oesophagoscopy was performed under general anesthesia and a friable meat was extracted in pieces and the smooth, the, the post-operative course was smooth. So here the patient did not in, ingest the denture, but he ingested a big bolus of, of meat. And we'll see in the discussion that the patient with, with dentures may either ingest the denture itself or may ingest a food related article due to reasons which we will mention later uh, in the discussion. The fifth patient was a 70 years old dentulous lady complaint of dysphagia after ingestion of a bone or what she thought that she had ingested a bone. Lateral X-ray of the neck was normal. Project specificoscopy was performed under GA for suspicion of foreign body ingestion. As you know, rigid spectroscopy is performed via endotracheal tube jaw anesthesia and muscle relaxation. I should be done carefully to avoid perforation of the esophagus. So, specificoscopy was, was normal. 
and the post operative bearing swallow is also normal. And therefore, the patient had a sensation of foreign body ingestion, but uh, endoscopy was negative. This is patient had an intralaryngeal partial denture. This is a very, this was a very interesting case actually. A 50 years old man complained of hoarseness of voice and irritability few hours after inhalation of his partial denture. The denture was visible on neck x-ray. As you can see here, there was a metallic uh, wire inside the denture. On the lateral x-ray, it was very clear, the metallic uh, piece of the denture. And therefore, the patient was examined under anesthesia. Endotracheal intubation was done with a difficulty. Urgent esophagoscopy was performed and no foreign body was seen in the esophagus. Careful inspection of the larynx by a laryngoscope revealed a, the, a denture striding uh, the endotracheal tube looking like vocal cords and the denture was extracted with difficulty by medial forceps. That was the denture. So as you can see, the denture was looking like a vocal cord and was uh, uh, sitting uh, inside the larynx and therefore the appearance was suggestive of a, a, a vocal cord or normal appearance of larynx. Therefore, intubation was difficult initially, but when we discovered that esophagoscopy was normal, we examined the larynx again and we discovered that this, that this uh, denture was actually inside the larynx. The seventh case, ingestion of a partial denture. That was a 50 years old, a dentulous lady presented with painful dysphagia. Few hours after ingestion of a partial denture, she was clinically stable. X-ray of the chest was normal. Urgent esphigoscopy was performed under GA and a partial denture was seen 17 centimeters from the incisor teeth. Several trials to remove the denture failed initially because of the big size and the impaction of the denture. Finally, it could be removed. That was the denture. As you can see, the foreign body forceps is grasping the denture uh, through the project esophagoscope, and the denture consisted of two teeth with sharp projections, making the foreign body very uh, serious. The patient post operative course was smooth, and she was allowed to take oral diet the next day. The last patient was again an edentulous man with a bone in the oesophagus. As you can see here, the x-ray of the face shows the lost teeth and he used a complete denture in the uh, upper jaw. The patient presented with dysphagia and the x-ray of the neck revealed a piece of bone in the cervical oesophagus. And this piece of bone was removed by rigid oesophagoscopy. So here, again, he was edentulous. In this case, the denture was not ingested, but a piece of bone was ingested instead. Well, foreign body ingestion, as you know, is common and a frightening experience to the patients and their relatives. Ingestion of dentures is common among adults. About 25% of people with dentures may present with ingestion of dentures, a very high percentage actually. 
What is the reason behind that? The use of complete denture leads to loss of tactile sense of the hard and soft pellets. The second reason is insufficient stability. Dentures are, stable, are of sufficient stability only in 37.6% of cases. And the real use of denture adhesives. Denture adhesives are used in 6.9% of cases only. And finally, the weight of a well-fitting mandibular complete denture doesn't affect its stability. So there are many reasons which make a patient who is a dentulous liable for ingestion of the denture or sometimes inhalation of the denture. Why dentures are dentulous for bodies? Once ingested, dentures usually fail to descend and they are difficult to extract due to their uh, irregular shape. Partial dentures usually have hooks for their fixation. This or these hooks render dentures sharp and dangerous. Perforation of a previously normal esophagus was caused by dentures or reported by dentures in two out of 12 patients in one series. The method of removal of dentures. Early removal of dentures is necessary because delay of removing a sharp foreign body from the oesophagus can lead to pressure necrosis and sometimes the development of the rare but almost fatal complication of auto-oesophageal fistula. Endoscopic removal should be tried first, but any force is prohibited as perforation is likely. If endoscopy failed to remove the denture, then surgery is recommended for denture extraction. Very interesting uh, paper uh, is the use of Holmium YAG laser to remove a denture. This type of, of laser has been used to manage a denture impacted in the oesophagus. In one paper described this method, the denture initially was disimpacted into the stomach and then fractured with laser into three pieces and then removed without a complication. The paper was published by Lam et al entitled Laser Assisted Removal of a Foreign Body Impact in the Esophagus, published in 1997. So the take-home message for those with a gap between their teeth, we would say not only mind the gap, but also say mind the dentist and mind the denture mind the dentist and mind the denture. And I would leave you for two minutes with this nice and beautiful song, Iraqi song. <laughs> Thank you for joining us and for this 
for listening to the lecture.